A lot of excitement this weekend in Williamson County. Check it out. Everybody is getting into the rodeo spirit, including the little ones with the crowd favorite mutton busted. And this is more than just a rodeo. Mutton busting. There's also a fair, something that organizers added last year. KXN's Mercedes Hernandez takes us to the excitement in Taylor. Rides, refreshments, and rodeo or what you'll find at the Williamson County Fair. Scott Hazelmeyer with the fair says the benefit doesn't stop at the front gate. Anytime that you can bring uh, three or 4,000 people together uh, in one place, we're gonna have a great economic impact. This is the second ever Williamson County Fair and Rodeo. Hazelmeyer says an extra day was added to this year's event because of high interest and expects big turnouts Friday and Saturday night. Our Saturday night show last year actually sold out by adding Tejano tonight, tonight on Friday night. So we're expecting two big full sellout nights. So, so we're growing. My favorite part is the rides uh, and the dances and the food. That's like everything. <laughs> okay, then everything. Fernando and Avery Garcia are first time visitors from Round Rock. They were game planning what they were going to do once the night's local dance performances were done. Pretty much waiting to get darker so we can ride the rides and uh, do some of the games here and there. And while she waited for the night's rodeo events to start, Tara Edo got a couple concessions. We're all here to see the rodeo, so that's like the main appeal of us being here. But yeah, I definitely am a food driven lady, so happy to have food. <laughs> In Taylor, Mercedes Hernandez, KXAN News. And last year's rodeo and fair brought in about 13,000 people and a county spokesperson told us they expect even more this year.